This short video will show you the uh, transcription function of the SpeechLive browser interface for your typist. Firstly, log on to your SpeechLive typist account through the Chrome browser. This will bring up your typist's page and you can see there's a list of various recordings that have come through. Now if we scroll down to the bottom I can see the latest that was sent through. Simply click the play icon on the left hand side of the file and it will bring up a set of uh, it'll bring up settings on the top of the the page that you can then uh, enter into. First of all you have playback speed, volume, under the cog you've got two settings. You've got player settings where you can adjust playback, windback and also auto backspacing. The other function here is foot pedal settings where you can adjust the pedal according to your to your needs. Now uh, plugged directly into the USB of your computer is the ACC model series of Philips foot controls. So I've selected that file already. Now, you can play it. This is a test recording sent via the Philips smartphone. Now, you have the ability to, say, minimize the browser screen to a small, as, I, as I, I've just collapsed it to a, to a convenient interface. I can now bring up my document. I can have it in full. Now if I press the play pedal and via the Philips smartphone app to the so I can play the browser interface quite freely, type into my document. If I wanted to, I could also minimize the document screen and have it next to run each at the same time. Uh, and you can adjust the screens accordingly. Uh, even even more convenient would be if you had two screens you could run the browser on one screen and the document on the other uh, and and uh, and type away Philips smartphone app to the speech live system for the typist to type in their speech live log on when you're finished you can open up your browser screen again you can then choose to enter additional properties of the file if you wish you could then you could also suspend it and put it into to the suspended area of the under filters on the left but you can also finish so that then takes the file out of the list of files that have come through and puts it in the finished folder and there it is there ready for you to go to the next file and continue transcribing. So that is a short film illustrating the use of the browser interface on Mac or PC through Chrome browser to uh, transcribe any recording in the Philips SpeechLive cloud system. Thank you.